Ever wondered about the state of electric vehicle charging infrastructure in the United States? Today we delve into a recent incident that shines a bright light on this very issue. This summer, U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm embarked on a four-day electric vehicle road trip. The journey, stretching from Charlotte, North Carolina to Memphis, Tennessee, aimed to promote the White House's investments into green energy and clean cars. But, as they say, even the best laid plans often go awry. As the convoy, including a Cadillac Lyric, a Ford F-150 Lightning, and a Chevrolet Bolt EUV rolled into Grovetown, a suburb, of Augusta, Georgia, an unexpected hurdle appeared. The secretary's advance team discovered that the local charging station was not fully operational. One charger was broken and the others were occupied. In a move that would spark controversy, a staffer parked a gasoline-powered car at one of the working chargers for the secretary's convoy. The move did not sit well with other electric vehicle users at the station particularly a family who found themselves blocked from charging their electric vehicle. The family, with a baby in their car on a hot day, was understandably upset. They were so aggrieved by this show of governmental icing that they called the local police. However, as it stands in Georgia, it's not illegal for a non-electric vehicle to claim a charging spot, leaving the sheriff's office with their hands tied. The energy department staff realizing the situation quickly worked to rectify the issue. They freed up chargers for both the frustrated family and the secretary by redirecting other vehicles to slower chargers. This incident has underscored a pressing problem, the lack of sufficient and efficient charging infrastructure for electric vehicles in the US, particularly for those that aren't Teslas. The White House is acutely aware of this issue and recognizes the urgency to address it. So what does this mean for the future of electric vehicles? It underscores the need for comprehensive infrastructure development, not just for the production of electric vehicles, but also for their maintenance and operation. A robust network of charging stations across the country is a must for the success of the green energy revolution. In a nutshell, the road to green energy is paved with good intentions, but without proper infrastructure, it could become a bumpy ride. As we move towards a more sustainable future, it's imperative to ensure that the infrastructure keeps pace with the innovation. And as this incident has shown, there's still a long way to go. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.